Hey guys, okay, so you're not ever gonna see the kitchen at this angle ever again. I just wanted to give you a whole, hang on. All right, wanted to give you an idea of how big it is. It's, it's bigger than I could ever imagine. So this is the new kitchen. Uh, let's see, there's the stove my movers broke. Uh, there's the fridge my, mo my movers had all dinged up and damaged. Uh, here's, look. You thought I got rid of the washer and dryer. It's back in here. That's the washer and dryer they banged up uh, and smashed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, my movers destroyed every appliance that I brought from California. They damaged it all. Um, if you want to follow that story, join me on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. I've been giving updates about how they're handling this situation. Uh, let's see if they're gonna try and do this. Well, we're gonna prorate your stuff. And anyway, doesn't matter. I'm still paying on this stove. This is brand new. You guys remember I just got this, right? Well, it's all bent and twisted and broken. So we're gonna do the best we can with it though, because it's the oven part I think is still working. We'll find out in a few minutes. But for right now, let's talk positive stuff. The positive thing is this. I have a new kitchen. I have my apron back. I don't have my hat yet. I'm looking for my new yellow hat. Uh, it's packed away. Uh, I'm gonna be picking winners. Everybody's gonna get their shirts and aprons. I am so excited because I'm back in my groove again. I got my knife, I got my cutting board. It just, it, it's all my stuff. I'm just geeked. So it's time to get back in full speed on the show. So this is what we're doing. You guys remember I went to the Macy's competition. Uh, Macy's looking for like the grilling guru. Well. I won second place. I lost to a salmon dish. Well, it seems that the person who won in Seattle couldn't make it to the finals in New York. So Macy's calls and says, hey, you're the runner up because you're second place. Why don't you go to New York uh, to represent the Pacific Northwest because I'm a California boy. And that's when I submitted. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to the finals. I'm going to be cooking my mom's uh, beautiful grilled teriyaki short ribs if you don't know that recipe, it's on the channel. Now let's get down to business. In celebration of that loss, uh, I'm doing salmon dishes. We are going to do three in a row of quick and easy salmon dishes. They're all completely different flavors. I, I couldn't decide which one. I thought, you know what? Let's just get into some salmon. Uh, that's the dish that beat me. I'm going after it. So we're gonna do them right now. Come in close and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do today. Okay, super easy. You got fresh thyme. Got dill, bay leaves, heavy whipping cream, and salmon fillets. Now, remember to preheat your oven to 400 before you even start this recipe, or you can do it right now, it doesn't really matter. Get a baking dish, put your salmons in here. I hope they're all gonna fit. I think they will. Yes, I think they will. Beautiful. All right, next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna place a bay leaf on each one. In fact, I'm gonna do an extra one here, like that. Okay, now the recipe says to pour the heavy cream on and then put your seasoning on top of that. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna kinda of ad-lib this. Move that off to the side. I'm gonna take my seasoning. And who knows, this may not be the best way to do it. I don't care. I want the seasoning all throughout with the cream. So I'm gonna mix it up, then I'm gonna pour it on. Give that a little. If you're too lazy to get a mixing spoon, <laughs> which I am, I don't even know where my spoons are. I think they, oh, I know where they are. I'm still getting used to where, what drawer has what. It's so funny. Get it all nice and mixed in the heavy cream. Pour it all on top. Make sure everything gets coated really nice with the seasoning. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna bake this approximately 15 minutes at 400 degrees or with the touch of a fork, uh, this'll thicken up the cream and then the fish will be flaky. Okay, so let's bring this out. Let's get it in right now first and then we'll bring it out and we'll take, uh, take a look at it. I 
I don't think it thickened up enough. I'm gonna test this little piece. What do you think? Think it cooked enough? I don't know. Not feeling it. I think I put it back in for five, 10 more minutes. All right, so I put it in for another five minutes. So let's go pull it out right now. Yeah, see, that's what I'm looking at. See the cream on top now is getting a little thick. You could smell all the herbs. That's what I needed. Five more minutes. I'm gonna adjust the recipe down below, don't worry. The recipe that's in the description box will be the proper recipe that I used on the show. How's that look? That look good? Let's see if it's flaky. Now, here's how you can tell. You can take it and just kind of cut. I'm gonna try and cut the other direction so you guys can see. Look, see how flaky it is now? Look, it's got levels and layers and that's how it's supposed to cut, just like that. Good thing I put it back in because now it's fully cooked. Beautiful. Okay, so first of all, I wanna thank you guys for hanging in there uh, with me during the move. You guys were amazing, you were supportive. Uh, we held it together, huh? All right, here we go. First dish in my kitchen, something that scares me, something I lost to, salmon. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow, what a way to start the new kitchen. Yep, that extra five minutes, this is flawless. I don't think I've ever cooked salmon this good. Oh, I should go back to Seattle and compete again with this. But I got a grill. So I'm going to New York to do the grilling uh, at the Macy's competition. Um, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. I'll be posting the whole time I'm in New York, all right? In the meantime, enjoy this dish and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack.